Hello, my name is Mike Statil with Air Components and Systems, here today to talk to you about dry airs. Dry air is important to any compressed air system. It improves the longevity and reliability of the customer's equipment. Here at Air Components, we typically provide two different types of dryers, a refrigerated dryer and a desiccant dryer. With a refrigerated dryer, we can achieve a dew point of around 38 degrees. We typically sell two different types of refrigerant dryers. We have a cycling and a non-cycling. Customers that have less than full load conditions typically can see an energy savings with the cycling dryers. With our second type of dryer, we have desiccant dryers. There are three primary types of desiccant dryers. The first is a heatless. With the heatless, you have a low introductory capital cost, but you use the most dry compressed air for purge or regeneration. Usually around 15% of the dry compressed air is used with the heatless desiccant dryer. Second, we have a heated desiccant dryer. With the heated desiccant dryer, we use around 7% for the purge, and the capital cost goes up slightly. The third type of desiccant dryer is the heated blower desiccant dryer. We use little to no compressed dried air, but your capital costs go up. It's important to consult your local air components rep to decide which dryer best fits your application and budget.